welcome to Bayou Group Rides. You guys have been asking, requesting, begging over and over and over to see our C10. In addition to our 59 Apache, which everyone on this channel is aware well of that we have, we also have an 81 step side who we affectionately call Barry. And today is your lucky day because I have decided to film a tour of Barry. I'm gonna give you all the details, I'm gonna show you everything, and you guys are gonna love it. So stick around and you'll see. The only C10 on this channel. <laughs> For now. man of the people okay I can only hold this this prize to myself for so long so you ask I give so this is kind of what started it all um, in terms of my own truck and starting with the C10s this truck is what started the inspiration for this channel this was my late father's truck my dad Grayson he bought this truck I guess a couple years before he passed away. I'd always been hot for the Chevy, preferably even older, like the AD trucks, 3100s and that nature. But I also really like square bodies. And we went through this phase where anything, I was like, hey, that's a cool truck. My dad got it. So one day he just says, hey, I'm gonna go look at this truck. And I was like, cool. You know, that wasn't out of the ordinary. And he comes home with, ta-da. It's funny, cause apparently before me, my dad was a car guy. He had 55 Chevys and Corvettes and all that. But since I've, been you know in my dad's life he'd always had trucks and always Chevy trucks big dualies just just work trucks they were good trucks we had OBS's and all that I just associate these trucks with my dad and the old Chevy's are kind of what got me interested growing up we were going to all these shows with 55 Chevy and we even had a 54 Ford F100 don't tell anybody but it was super cool but it wasn't mine and I was young so the trucks for the Chevy's were my thing and at that time, like early 2000s, late 90s, trucks weren't really super in. Like that wasn't the thing at car shows. I remember numerous times my dad saying, you don't want a truck, nobody wants that. You know, everybody wants Camaros and Tri-5s and, and things of that nature. The trucks were not popular and boy, how that has changed. You can hardly get these trucks, they're so expensive now. It is a factory Silverado package. It's loaded other than manual windows and manual locks. So 81 and 82 are a unique grill. They have the vertical lines. Most people, when they think square bodies, they think either 73 to 80, or they're thinking that like 83 to 87 grill. The 81, 82, they're a little different and you get the four headlights, which I'm a big fan of. It has been completely debadged. I do plan on putting at least the, the trim behind the back glass back. I would like to put that stainless piece back on. But all my mirrors are brand new. All the stainless on this truck is brand new. It, it's really in good shape. The only thing you could really use to take it to the next level is a paint job. So I got the truck and it was painted this color. It is like a Oldsmobile Viking blue-esque with a little more metallic, but it's an older paint job for sure. It already had the wood in the bed. So the truck came to me in pretty good shape. So I was very happy to get it. It did have a little bit of a drop on it when I got it. Uh, let's say a two four drop, but nothing like I wanted. It was, it was like this boys and girls. And if y'all know me at all, I'm fighting for this. Last year I went ahead and went all out on it and it is sitting at about a 5.8 drop now, all Belltech. It's got their Belltech Street Performance shocks. This thing drives like a dream. You can, I mean, I drove it to Bama this year and I'm literally letting go of the steering wheel driving down the interstate. So thanks to Belltech for that. The suspension is incredible on this truck, especially for a lower truck. Uh, you've got three inches off the ground with the A-arms. All the lights are new. It's got some LED halo lights in the front. Uh, it is a four eye. All four come on when it's on high beams. So it's pretty cool. Uh, 81 still is high beams in the floor. All my turn signals and indicators are brand new. This truck is a little more custom than Steph's, but it's still got, you know, a stock-esque look with the, with the rally wheels. I refinished those this year and it's got Cooper Cobra tires 
I do have an offset set of wheels and it's got 15 by sevens in the front and 15 by eights in the back to help with the three inch lowering spindles. So in the front, I've got two 35, 60, 15s and in the back, I got two 75, 60, 15s. Uh, and again, those are 15 by sevens in the front and 15 by eights in the back. So a little staggered stance. So it's got a little meat in the back. Right now, as of this filming, it has a small block Chevy 350. Uh, it's got a 280 comp cam, Magnum. It has a 350 turbo trans, 2500 B&M stall. So it'll get on down the road a little bit, nothing too crazy. It's got a good little thump to it. I'm sure we'll drop a little sound of that here. It has a 650 Edelbrock AVS2 carburetor. That's your drivetrain. Pretty simple setup right now. Exhaust setup, before everybody asks, it has stainless steel block hugger headers going to two and a half inch MagnaFlow, uh, four by nine ovals. This is their performance series and they are dumped behind the axle. No, no X pipe, no H pipe, just true dual. It's a really cool truck. The interior is brand new. It's got a brand new dash pad. The door panels are actually original. Uh, they're in really good shape though. I've never refinished them. I have 5% limo tent throughout the whole truck. And I have a gorgeous Snowden seat as I think we all are aware on this channel. Carpet's brand new. I do have a retro sound head unit. It looks like the original head unit. And then JL Audio 6x9s in the cab corners. Sounds great, super clean. Um, Bluetooth, the whole deal. Every truck I have has got to have a forever sharp steering wheel. They've been great with this build. I chose the stainless steel with the leather wrap, classic look. I've also refurbished my cluster gauge so it looks all brand new, new lens, painted the needles, everything. Hopefully in the near future, I'm going to do an LS setup. I'm on the fence whether I'm gonna do a 5.3 or 6.2. It will be the opposite of Stephanie's truck. So if you're here to build trucks and make a lot of noise and have rowdy cams at 3,000 stalls, just hang with me, it's coming. So probably a 5.3 or a 6.2, probably at least a stage three cam. We're gonna do a 4L60 or a 4L80E. And then once that's done, I'll do classic instruments uh, for gauges. I'm gonna do cutouts on this build with long tube headers. And I'd like to redo my wood bed. And then whenever I get to it, I would like to paint the truck. But other than that, I mean, guys, this truck is super clean. I try not to do too much with it because it's, it's really, a simple build but it just turns heads and it's something something hard to beat with a simple clean build it's got a little stance well there you have it that's our stepchild Barry thanks for tuning in guys if you like this video make sure to like it before you leave and make sure you also subscribe so you can see all of our future videos until next time this was baby proof rides